students and I, um, you know, we were sitting on the floor of his library, um, and no matter how many times he insisted that the students sit on the couch in the library, we were always on the floor, um, and he would ask us over and over again to sit on the couches. And I had drilled in Tibetan protocol to the students too much that they knew that we would not sit at the same height as His Holiness. Um, but after the sessions were over, we would go back to the place where the students were being hosted, and we'd go through we'd go through the arguments that they had just heard. Um, and he's he's such a brilliant and challenging thinker that we would really need to spend the time to go back through the arguments and the complexity that he was speaking with. And to me, as a, a scholar of Buddhism that's read many um, commentaries um, by Buddhist thinkers, Buddhist teachers, I was just amazed that in the moment of being asked one question that he could produce such complex arguments that were nested within other complex arguments that took us in different directions, directions that I hadn't anticipated before we were sitting in the library.